Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Do you have some old VHS like I do? I actually have like boxes and boxes of these VHS. And, you know, I've been thinking about digitizing them for quite a while now. Because what I read is that VHS lifespan don't last that long. It's typical around the 10 to 25 year, depending on the quality of the VHS and how often did you watch them. Because the more you watch them, the quality deteriorates. So having boxes and boxes of these VHS, I want to finally digitize them. But in order to do that, I needed some sort of a video capture device. And there were a bunch of them on Amazon. You could find them from ranging from $16 to even like $80 from what I've seen. But the one I went with is the DigitNow USB 2.0 Video Grabber. So what you get is composites, uh, the composite ports for your VHS player or even anything besides a VHS player. It could be an old camcorder or even a laser disc player if you have it. But all you need to do is just plug your device to one of these ports right here. And after that, you basically plug the USB port to your computer and your computer will automatically recognize it. Now the device supports um, Windows, Mac, and presumably with Linux as well. Basically any computer with the USB port, your operating system should be able to detect this. But it also includes a software as well. Now, I was not unfortunately able to test this because it looks like the software only works on Windows and I am currently using a Mac, so I don't know if the software used. If you guys do know if this USB video grabber software works, let me know in the comments below. But Overall, this device works as it's advertised. I was able to plug this in to my computer, launch a software that will help me record. In this case, I'm using OBS Studio to help me record my VHS. And, you know, I've, there's no hiccup with this device. Um, I just plugged it in again and launched the software. Uh, I think the only downside I have is that I don't know if this is a communication between the device and the software. One software I did try to use is VLC and unfortunately for some reason it captures but I'm having a hard time recording anything from it so that's the reason why I switched to OBS Studio. So ladies and gentlemen if you guys know how to you know troubleshoot using one of these devices with VLC please let me know in the comments below. So overall, I'm happy with this device because it works to advertise. You know, I was able to use this on my computer and launch a software that I use to help me capture my VHS into a digital format. You know, the only thing I wish that it only included is a software that works on the Mac, but you know, just going out and finding a free software wasn't that much of a difficult task. So overall, I do like this device. Hey everyone, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified of new episodes. But don't go away because part 2 is coming up very soon. I'm going to show you how to actually use the device and using OBS to capture your VHS and digitize it. That video should be up pretty soon, but if not, check out these other videos right here.